Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. I recorded two videos on Google Ads bid strategies a few years ago, and they are close to a combined 40,000 in views right now. So I thought I'd go back and review them, make sure they're still relevant, and also answer some of the best questions that came through in the comments. The good news is these videos are still very relevant, which is actually pretty surprising given how much Google changes things. The three bid strategies I covered in these videos are maximize clicks, maximize conversions, and target CPA. As far as maximize clicks goes, nothing really has changed with this bid strategy. I'm not really using it as much anymore as it seems to be a little slow in getting clicks. I usually prefer just to go straight to manual CPC to start up brand new campaigns. I didn't cover maximize conversion value in these two videos, but I did some other videos on this topic that talk about the bid strategy and return on ad spend or ROAS. This type of bidding works similar to maximize conversions, but instead of targeting conversions, you're targeting actual conversion value, which could be revenue or some other type of value you're attributing to your conversions. The biggest change Google has made on these bid strategies is how they are organized. Without changing the names, they combined four bid strategies into two. So we used to have maximize conversions and target CPA. Now we just have maximize conversions with an option to add target CPA. And instead of having maximize conversion value and target ROAS, we now just have maximize conversion value with an option to add a target ROAS. So the bid strategies still seem to work pretty much the same, but this change in organization made sense to me and it basically cleaned things up a bit. So I'm gonna go over to my screen now and I wanna check out some of the top comments and give some answers on those. Okay, so the first comment I wanted to answer was from Shab. It was about two years ago. He said, do you know what the best way is to determine the ideal target CPA for your campaign? And this was obviously on the video I did about maximize conversions versus target CPA. So a lot of good questions came up concerning target CPA. And one common one was how do I determine what I should be bidding on the target CPA? So the first thing is when you switch to target CPA or Google recommends that inside your account, they typically also recommend a target CPA bid. So it could be like $30 or something like that. It's gonna be way more than a typical cost per click because you're bidding for a conversion. If they don't give you a suggested target CPA bid, you should already be tracking conversions. And then you can look in the column cost per conversion. So I have that in a column here. So for this specific account that's been running for a while, I know my cost per conversion is around $11. So I might bid $10, I might bid 11, maybe 15, if I want to give it some room. So yeah, start tracking your conversions to figure out what your target CPA should be. It's gonna be your cost per conversion. But again, Google will probably give you a suggested target CPA if they're suggesting that bid strategy to you. Okay, so the next question was also about two years ago. It was on that same video, it was from Ernesto. He said, thank you, man. I moved from Maximize to Target CPA, but my budget's just $10 daily and I'm not getting results. I guess it's because my Target CPA is almost $5. You are a genius, he <laughs> he. I should go back to Maximize clicks or increase my budget, right? So he's basically saying he's got a $10 budget and a target CPA bid of $5. So yeah, that doesn't give a lot of room. I've covered that in a few different other videos I can link to below. So really there's two good answers to that. The first one would be to test out an increased budget. I mean, maybe try $30 a day for a while and see how that goes. Then if you can't really swing the higher budget, maybe go back to a manual bid strategy for a while so that you can bid per click or even maximize clicks with a $10 daily budget so that Google's just gonna get you as many clicks as possible. It is true that with $5 target CPA bid and a budget daily budget that's just double that, it can be a little bit like a king toes. So even though I did mention this on the video a few years ago as an issue, I have seen campaigns work a little bit better in like the last year or two when the difference between the daily budget and target CPA is not very great. In this case, daily budget is only double what the target CPA is. Google has recommended five times your target CPA as a daily budget in the past. I don't think that's as necessary anymore, but you can try to test that out for yourself on your own campaigns. The next question is from Amy, also about two years ago. She said, hi, Ryan, thanks for this great video. I had a question about the maximize clicks goal. 
how do we know what we should set the maximum CPC for that goal? So again, this is a question about where to set the, set the bids. Uh, first of all, you could just pick something and you can always adjust it. So, I mean, a lot of times on new campaigns, I set $2, 2 or $3 as a initial bid on like a manual CPC campaign. She's asking about the maximum CPC for a maximized clicks bid strategy. So this is where you just set a daily budget like $10, $30 a day and just tell Google ads to maximize your clicks. With this bid strategy, you, it's pretty good at keeping the CPC low. So it'll keep your cost per click low. So you don't necessarily need to put in a max CPC limit in this case. Most times when I use this bid strategy, I just leave that blank because again, it's gonna do a good job of keeping your budget low. If you have a massive budget of like $500 a day or something and you're using maximize clicks, maximize clicks bid strategy, you might want a max CPC limit just so it doesn't bid like $50 on a single click. But for the most part, I would just leave that option blank and let it figure out the lowest cost per click that it can get. All right, and the last question was from Yellow1912 about a year ago. It's, hi Ryan, if I have never run ads before, should I start with maximize clicks to get the traffic first, convert, then later switch to maximize conversions? At the moment, I have a campaign set to maximize conversions that does not have any clicks or anything. I contacted support and they say I should rethink my bidding strategy. So yeah, in general, I think you're on the right track. For new campaigns, I never really start off with a smart bid strategy that's maximizing conversions. Usually we just start with clicks, like a manual CPC, and just set it to two or three dollars and, and adjust from there. Then once I get you know, enough conversions, which could be, you know, 10 or 20 in a month, Google will usually have a recommendation in the account to switch to, you know, maximize conversions with target CPA or something like that. So yeah, usually it's after a month or two that I make that switch. So yeah, I would start with maximize clicks or manual CPC on a brand new campaign, especially when you don't have any conversion data and you wouldn't have any conversion data on a brand new campaign, obviously. I actually did a video on this, a Q and A video where someone wrote me a question about this exact question. So I went into it on, in more detail. So I'll link to that here and in the description. So I'll also link to these two bid strategy videos that I referenced at the beginning of this video. And obviously this video was an update on those. There's not a ton to update as I mentioned in the beginning, but I did wanna answer these questions and just let everybody know that those videos are still relevant. So go back and watch those videos. It's gonna help you understand bid strategies and Google ads and how to use them and when to use them. After watching those, if you have other questions, feel free to comment in either of those videos or on this new video, and uh, maybe I'll answer one of your questions in the future. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.